Good morning, Quite Copter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of the Lantian LT105 Pro. Now, Lantian LT105 Pro is another one of those little micros that have been coming out lately, lately micro FPV flyers. Um, we're starting to see larger motor uh, FPV flyers intended primarily for outdoor flying. Um, you can fly them indoors, of course, because they're so tiny and small. Well, you can bounce them around the indoors, but actually the ones with these bigger motors are intended for outdoor flight. Now the LT105 comes with 8520 motors. These are motors that you normally see on larger quadcopters like the uh, um, mini size quadcopters uh, like CMX 5C and larger, I, although I think the CMX 5C actually uses uh, smaller motors than what's on this. I think there's seven 720s on the X5C. But anyways, we're seeing many quadcopters with large motors and FPV cameras. And as such, these things can really fly fast. They also have uh, installed in them um, flight control boards that you can actually configure. This one has an F3 flight control board loaded up with clean flight. I believe it's 1-13.0 that you can configure uh, through their USB ports. This USB port in this one is right in the back here. You can just plug it in. Now, this also comes with a 600 TVL camera, uh, 25 milliwatts, but it is limited to 32 channels. Uh, although it has six switches, the sixth switch on this will invert the video. So if you get this and you find your video is upside down, just switch six, <laughs> just change switch six to its other position if you've got an inverted video. Um, you just turn the video upside down uh, with that switch. Um, it also comes with a 500, milli or 500 milliamp per hour X5C type battery um, with the white low C connector. Uh, very common, easily available, so you can find a lot of these batteries to keep you flying during the day. The one thing about, though, the uh, Lantian uh, LT105 is it only comes available in free sky mode. In other words, you're going to need something like a Tyrannus to fly it, <laughs> which I happen to have. But uh, we're going to fly this today uh, and demonstrate how it flies. So hope you enjoy this flight of the Lantian LT105. Let's do it. Okay, let's go do it. I'm flying the Atlantean LT-105. I've got my goggles on here. Um, let's see here. Let's. I had set this to acro and arming it. And let's go for a flight of the LT-105. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, hold on a second, folks. I am on the wrong screen here. I'm on the uh, DVR recording screen. And i got to hit record. I didn't hit record yet. Now let me switch to AV video. And let's go back to the air with the LT-105. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, let's take it easy first. We'll go down by the garbage cans here. And get the feeling for it yet. trees Got a feel some of these trees now the thing about the LT 105 is and you can probably see it here on my screen is its antennas are bundled down inside that uh, protective case that it's got there that red protective case and actually I'm probably going to remove that case for future flights of this because you can see what it's doing there it's actually interfering with the antenna Okay, this is Quadcopter 101 back again with the Lantian LT-105. I attempted to fly this yesterday uh, with the way it's set up out of the box. And unfortunately, I found out very quickly that these antennas, the way they were installed, are flat on the circuit board and they provided very little reception to the quadcopter or transmission of the FPV signal from the quadcopter to me. So I both had a very short range control range where this actually dropped from the sky about uh, 50 feet away and I also lost uh, FPV reception at that range. So going in there, it's a very simple fix. I'm hoping this is a very simple fix that works. But all I did was is I burnt a little, two little holes in the top of the canopy so that both the, F, or the quadcopter's receiver antenna can poke out and the FPV transmission antenna can poke out, and hopefully that'll increase the range that we'll be able to fly this today so I could actually get a good demonstration of this quadcopter. So let's go for a flight of the Lantian, the modified Lantian uh, um, T-105. Wait, wait, hold on, sorry. <laughs> hold on, folks. Let me get my cheat sheet. Yeah, T-105, I was right. 
T105 Pro and see if you this actually works great. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, let's go for a flight of the LT105 and see how it performs. Uh, I did mention that this is only available in uh, Free Sky, unfortunately, but hopefully it will be available in other uh, versions in the near future. Okay, selecting acro and uh, arming the motors, and let's see how the LT105 performs. Let's hope you enjoy this flight. And hopefully, those modifications I or modifications I did will improve reception and transmission and. Oh yeah, there we go. Much better. Okay, let's see how this performs. It's kind of a gentle flyer, folks. Out of the box. Very gentle, very slow uh, rolls. Let's try a fast roll, a fast turn. That's about the fastest it turns right now with the <laughs> stock settings. <laughs> Whoops. So, that tells me one thing. This is meant for indoor flying the way it is currently. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't go in and modify the PIDs, but right now it is a very gentle, very uh, deliberate, slow flyer. You're, you're not going to be, uh, with the stock settings, not going to be doing tricks. So, but that doesn't, won't stop me from going in and trying playing around with the PIDs to see if I can make this a little more zippy. Because I think this could be a little more zippy with those 8520 motors. Definitely could be a little more zippy. But that's okay. If you're looking for a learn to fly FPV acro flyer with without messing with the PIDs, this one would be a good one, gentle one to learn to fly acro with the way these PIDs are set up. They are really, 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 really gentle. <laughs> you're going to have a hard time messing this one up, in other words. If you go and practice with uh, uh, FPV free rider and you fly this one, you're going to say, oh, this is easy. <laughs> the way it is set up now. Yeah, it's just a slow, gentle flyer the way it is. But again, you know, I think they got intended this one for indoor flying, but it can be an outdoor flyer. I know it can with those motors. Just needs to be, uh, have its pids modified. Well, let's try the range. I'll try to go around this pole out of here, this flagpole. Very slow. Not pack pull. <laughs> Flag pull. Yeah, it is very slow. Let's pick up the speed. Let's see how fast it can go with full forward pitch. It can go fast, but it <laughs> accelerates so gently. <laughs> I guess some people would like a gentle flyer. This would be for you, the way it is, out of the box. But, you know, it's got that 600 milliamp per hour battery. It should give you a good flight time compared to a lot of other little micros. Yeah. Sometimes you do want something slower and gentler. Uh, and the reason being, again, like I said, uh, for those learning acro, this would be the quadcopter for you. Learning acro FPV. Um, this would work very well for you, actually, the way it's flying. Let me, where's the, those two trees that are close together? Let me see if I can get between them. There they are. I should be able to fly between them easily. <laughs> exactly between them. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> yes, I did it. I could do it. Let's see if I can get between these two. Easily. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what the pins are set up to do right now. To be able to do precision, uh, close in. Let's see if there's any bushes. Or I hope there's no little twigs I'm going to hit. Oh, <laughs> I made it through there. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it's set up for right now, to, to do flying like that. Um, let's see, where else? What's she barking at? Let's fly over in that direction and see what she's barking at. Uh, I don't see anybody. <laughs> that's okay. But yes, the way it's set up right now is for precision, slow flying. Not for acrobatics. You're not going to do acrobatics with these settings. But you'll be able to go between tree branches like I'm doing right now easily. Let's see if I don't crash here. Between my tri tripod, maybe? No, I ain't going to do that. 
hello, land in my wife's hand. No, I'm not going to try to do that. <laughs> but the land an LT-105. Um, actually, good, good little quadcopter. Once you poke those uh, antennas out of there, get those antennas out of the way. And I'm going to land this here because my dogs see somebody. So I'm going to land it. With a puppy also. Oh, somebody with a puppy. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring it in for a landing, folks. See if I can make it onto the land. Oh, close enough. <laughs> there we go. And disarming. So, I'll take that half from my wife. Oh. The LT-105. Actually, a kind of nice gentle flyer the way it is out of the box. But I know you can make this more zippy by adjusting those pits. Um, all in all, not a bad quadcopter for uh, new flyers, new FPV uh, micro flyers, especially those who want to learn FPV acro. Uh, this is this would be great for you. So this is Quadcopter 101, signing out.